So in this video, I'm going to talk about elements of unsaturation, or it's also known as the index of hydrogen deficiency. And so pretty much an element of unsaturation is any place in a molecule that will reduce its number of attached hydrogen atoms by two. And this is when compared to this fully saturated molecule, which molecularly written would have that formula. So its molecular formula for a fully saturated molecule will be CnH2n plus 2 where n represents any number. So the n could represent six carbons, for example, and then the hydrogens on that would be two times six plus two, which would be 14. So if we had six carbons, a fully saturated molecule would have 14 hydrogens. And so what you need to do to calculate the element of unsaturation or index of hydrogen deficiency is what you're going to do is take the number of hydrogen molecules in the saturated molecule. So essentially the max amount of hydrogens that the molecule can have. And then you want to subtract the number of hydrogens in the given molecular formula and divide it by two. And so I think it's probably easier if I do an example, you might get it better. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use this molecule, C4H6. And we're going to try and find the index of hydrogen deficiency, or IHD. And so essentially what I've done is I've written out a, I hope, an easier way of viewing this. So first what we're going to do is we're going to find the number of hydrogen molecules in the saturated molecule with the given carbon. So we have four carbons. So essentially we're going to use this formula to find out how many hydrogens the saturated molecule will hold. And so just doing the calculation, you have 4, so you do plug it into this 2n plus 2, where 4 equals n. So you get 2 times 4, which is 8, plus 2, which is 10. So there are 10 hydrogens in the saturated molecule. Now you want to subtract the number of hydrogens in the given molecular formula, which is 6. So you're going to do 10 minus 6. And then you're going to divide that final answer by 2. So what you're going to get is 4 divided by 2, which equals 2. So what this means is you have two index of hydrogen deficiencies, also known as two elements of unsaturation. And so now, what do you do with that number? Well, as you look down here, we have two elements of unsaturation. So there are many possibilities. What you're going to get is, if you have a ring or a pi bond in the molecule, that equals one element of unsaturation. If you have a triple bond, that will give you two elements of unsaturation. So, for this molecule, you could have many things. Essentially, you could have many combinations as long as it adds up to two elements of unsaturation. And so that pretty much sums it up for element of unsaturation or index of hydrogen deficiency. If you guys want me to do some practice problems, leave a comment below and I'll be sure to make a video with some practice problems. But in the next video, we're going to talk about molecules that have other atoms that are not only carbon and hydrogen and how those atoms will affect the element of unsaturation. And so thank you for watching this video. If you liked it or found it useful, please be sure to give it a like and share it with your friends.